beer review time once again and I feel like a nice beer just before my pulled pork dinner Sunday afternoon fancy a treat and I'm going to pull out another one from the Western Brewery box that they sent me and if I can get this to focus in it is Viceroy India Pale Ale uh, using National Trust Farm Hops again it says on here and it's 5% I've had this in the fridge a couple of days after we had a slight accident with one of the uh, the beers. I'm hoping that these are all going to be a little bit more tame in the bottle. I'm not sure if this is bottle condition this one. Yep, yeah, there's a little bit of yeast on the bottom there. I think it's going to hold its Hold its own, I'll stop it there. I'll read the, uh, the spiel on the bottle in a minute. Quite cold with this, probably colder than I normally have it, but I was hoping the weather would be a lot warmer, but it's kind of gone a bit, a bit overcast and cloudy. It's a bit of a kind of light to golden colour. Again, always looks darker, no matter the light in here. Bit of a bit of a large head, probably my pour in, but anyway. Not getting a whole heap on the nose, but I'm gonna I'm gonna dive in. Very carbonated, but not not super fizzy. It just seems really carbonated in the glass. Not getting a whole heap. I think it might be almost a little bit too cold, but definitely getting something a little bit different off this one. I can't quite put my finger on. Obviously, it's not kind of like super hoppy, super bitter, like kind of your your IPAs that you get in the American IPAs, this is kind of more of your traditional British IPA. Right, let's read a little bit on the bottle while I think about it. It says Viceroy India Pale Ale. It's brewed with green sand, aquafire water, English malted barley and the finest Kent grown hops. It's fermented with Western Brewery's own heritage yeast culture to produce a fruity and hoppy pale ale. And there's a kind of a little story on here and I'll I'll try and read this out to you. It says Francis young husband lived in Westerham in 1921 to 1937 and explored India with his friend Lord Curzon. Curzon wrote in his memoirs as I rode down the grassy slopes I saw coming towards me in the distance the figure of a solitary horseman. It was young husband's native servant at that moment, I would have given a kingdom not for champagne or hock and soda or hot coffee, but for a glass of beer. He approached and salamed. I uttered but one word, beer. Without a moment's hesitation, he put his hand in the fold of his tunic and drew there from a bottle. Happy forethought, O Prince of Hosts, my gl most glorious moment. Pretty cool. That's actually got quite a quite a bit of finish, but not you know kind of super bitter. Definitely super refreshing, gluten free once again. I'm guessing the whole of Westham's range is gluten free, which is is pretty cool, and they're really tasty as well. Like I said, I've had a couple of gluten-free beers before that seem to me almost like they're they're lacking. There's there's something missing, but not one of these beers so far has been kind of devoid of flavour. They're kind of really up there with some of the, some of the best beers I've ever had. There's definitely a fruitiness going on, a little bit. A little bit peachy, almost it reminds me of, I won't compare it, but there's another commercial beer out there that's got that kind of, like a peachiness to it. You can get it in supermarkets, and it's got that. It's not, it's not there in abundance, 
but I think it probably would be if it was a little bit cooler. It's probably a little bit, sorry, a little bit warmer. It's probably a little bit too cold to be honest, but. Yeah, there's a, a peach, a peachiness to it. Mmm. Refreshing, crisp. Little bit of note on the end. Perfect. And at 5%, it's the kind of, you know, the, the upper end of kind of some of the lighter ones we've had so far. But, you know, you wouldn't know it's 5%. It drinks like 4 and a half or... Mm, beautiful, fantastic. Another top beer from Westrum. So that has been Viceroy. That's going to focus in from Westrum Brewery. Another fantastic drop. Cheers.